And uh, I'm going to take this 3-2-3 three, because three, I think I got the homie YG in the building. It says Ground Under, music yeah, for the yeah. underground. was rocking? Yo, yo, what's good? I got YG right here. Hold on a second, bro. All right, for sure. Got Rod G in the building, Ground Under, Desert Eagle branded in the building. In the building. What's happening, YG? What's happening? What's poppin'? What's up with it? What's it poppin', man? Motion? Sit out here, finna do a show, chillin' on this 2K. Are you finna rock that show? That's Hell we are finna go in there. Hey, hey, hey where, where's that? Hey, you know, say the location. Just You might, you might get a couple more people coming through for you, bro. Oh yeah, we are uh we up in Fresno. I'm gonna be at Club Aldo, you feel me? So if y'all out here come through tonight we finna turn it up, me and the homies finna come through, we finna have a party at the party at the hotel, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you get down, Y G. I know how you get down, baby. That's what it is, man. So man, I mean how you feeling about, you know what I'm saying, just all the movement that you've been doing, the shows, the music. You know what I'm saying, everything. Because I mean, you know, we didn't we didn't interview before, bro. So it's kind of like talking to my homie right now. So all you people out there that's yes, brand new to the deal, this man YG is definitely getting in. Dev Jam artist. You know what I'm saying. He got an ill ill joint. We're gonna play with Chris Brown in a little while. But you know how you uh -huh. feeling overall, YG? Man, um, it's just like you feel me. That's what I gotta do. You feel me? I'm I'm working. It's it's regular. You feel me? I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. But, hey, so get the, the pen, pen off, man. We see you all on the net. Oh, everything. The mixtape, I'll just read up. Feel me? I got like 26 bangers on there. Got all bangers, all kind of features, good music. Fuck with it. Download it. Feel me? What, made you, what made you throw 26 on that, man? You you went hard. My first one, look, my first mixtape I ever put out, like, before I signed this shit, was like, I had like 32 records up on that shit, like, like, like 32 tracks. So I was like, I'm finna fit the most I can fit on this one because I want to uh, be like my first one, like long as fuck. So you feel me? Yeah, right, right, right. Hit him with the heat. That's that. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hell so what you got? So as far as this mixtape, where can they find that? Like, where where can they go get that? Oh, it's on it's on hotnewhiphop.com. It's on that piff. It's on allhiphop.com. I think it's on Double XL. Uh, or you can just Google that shit on Google, you feel me? It's up on that shit. I think it's on digitaldrip.com. But it's on Hot New Hip Hop and that piff, you feel me, for sure. Just right. go search YG mixtape and it's going to pop up. Just read up. There you What's have the it. What's the other collabs you got, bro? Huh? What's the other collabs you got on the joints, man? Oh, oh, um, I got, I got like, I got Chris Brown. I got Big Sean. I got Big Crit. I got Tiger. I got Nipsey Hussle. I got Rich Boy, I got uh, Short Dogs, Soldier Boy, and then I got all the homies from the label, Ty, PC, TC, uh -huh. Green, Picasso, Rest in Peace, Young JR, the uh, homegirl, Tania. I got a whole lot of features on that motherfucker, you feel me? That's what it is. Let me ask you this, bro. Let me ask you this, because, you know, I mean, you you, you, you rocking with mixtapes, and I know you working, you, you pretty much working on an album and shit like that, too, right? I ain't really working on the album right now, you feel me? Because I ain't trying to put it out right now, so I ain't working on it. But I'm just, I'm working on mixtapes. I'm doing music, you feel me? I'm just making I'm music doing. and shooting videos and putting that shit out. That's craft, huh? Yup. That's what's up. And, and, That's what's up. and what you said right there, bro, is real solid because, you know, the first thing that people want to do, you know what I'm saying, when a motherfucker either links on with a with a major or whatever is just a... Uh, you know, they man, I I got this album that's gonna come out and it's gonna be the shit, and mm -hmm. you know what I mean. And somebody like yeah. you was real solid because you, you know, you, you feel me, bro? Because you know everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, you doing shows, you still making money doing shows, and you still putting out mixtapes, and you still catering to the fans, and and that's solid, bro. Because you know most most motherfuckers, and you know, being in this industry, man, there's a lot of people that you know they 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 real like nose up and. You know, they they, <laughs> they they just trying to just, you know, just kind of keep it moving. You dig? Yeah, I'm already knowing. You feel me? But when I do my shit different, we out here putting out music. Fucking these good getting these shows. You feel me? Yeah. And, and, and with that being said, <laughs> bro, like, how do you, how do you like, if, if there's other people out there, up-and-coming artists, you know, not just hip-hop, R&B, whatever. You know what I mean? People that's actually trying to be able to make it. I mean, and, and the and and they basing it off of trying to sign to a major. Do you feel like you know being on a a major 
means that you arrived or is it something that, you know, okay, well, if you could be able to use that as a stepping stool, then, okay, go for it. Because, you know, it's a lot of motherfuckers out here that, that, that feel like, you know, it's either major or bust. Hey, that major shit is bullshit. You ain't got, you don't need no <laughs> fucking label. You feel me? Because a label ain't going to do nothing with you until you do something with yourself. You feel me? So you might as well do do it without them, you feel me, from the go, and then, you feel me, if you popping, if you start popping, nigga, a label gonna come find you, but, like, if you try to fuck with a label before you start popping, you feel me, they gonna try to run your shit, like, nigga, they gonna try to be, like, rush your album out and all that kind of shit, uh, yeah. but That's if, if you pop right off there. on your own, yeah, see, look, if you pop up on your own, then get signed, you feel me, like, you kind of tell them what you want to do and shit. Mm-hmm. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. That's what's up. I mean, the, my my take on that is, you know, I feel like a, a major deal is cool, but just like you said, if you're not popping and, you know what I'm saying, you get a deal, it it probably jump like that. But, you know, I feel like, you know, only the real strong going to survive. So if you're not a strong person, then you're going to lean on that. You know what I'm saying? But a strong person, they're yep. going to do what they got to do. They they going to they gonna get it in. They're going to do their movement. They're going to keep their movement solid. And, and make they shit, you know what I'm saying, known and, and recognized with everybody. So, you know, it's, it's like the weak and the strong. And a lot of people, they, they, they look for that that main that mainstream to help them and boost them when really it's going to kill them. Like you said, if you ain't got no buzz, you, you know, they going to puppet you or shelf you. You know yep. what I'm saying? So, you know, you got to have a backbone. And I, that's why I salute all the indies. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who get who got their little movement going and still keeping that shit strong, deal or not, you know what I'm saying? That's some real shit. It, it, it's hard to stay like that, but them the real niggas right there, to me. Yeah. Yup. You feel me? It's all that's good, solid. though. That's man. solid. Trying. Yeah, that, I mean, you know, and that, and that's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and definitely, man, I got a lot of respect for what you, uh, you know, you, you, you moving where your direction is going with your music and shit like that because it's definitely, you know, some ill shit. And and one thing, because I know you're getting ready to go rock out a show, so we ain't going to keep you too long, but I want your opinion because, you know, somebody like yourself can probably give, you know, give out some good facts and shit Most like that, that too. So, you know, my, my thing is with, you know, a lot, I don't know if you heard, there's a lot of talk about the Beyonce performance on the Billboard joint, right? Right? About her uh, her performance is, is, is basically like a ripoff from this other Italian singer and shit like that or whatever. So my question is, like, when it comes to choreographed music, sampling, and, and, and just, you know, just kind of like maybe taking a couple of bars from an established artist or whoever, you know what I mean? Like, how do you feel? Like, do you feel like there, there's going to be a point in time when enough is enough with, with the whole sampling and shit and people need to be a little bit more creative with it? Well, the sampling shit, like, like on, like, like beats and shit, I fuck with yeah. that kind of shit, you feel me? I don't be taking niggas, like, bars, though, like, niggas be saying shit, and they say, oh, I don't do that shit, but, like, I can either make right. my beat be sampling old shit from back in the day, like, some old shit, just little shit and shit. Like, I got mm -hmm. that song, Bitches Ain't Shit, with the little Snoop Dogg sample on that shit. Like, niggas do right. shit like that. But, yeah. you feel me, that, uh, like, taking niggas lyrics and shit like that, I don't know. But Beyonce, and, like, she took an Italian girl performance or something, yeah, pretty much. I mean, if you saw the billboards, like her performance, I mean, and, and it's and it's on YouTube, and, and people been kind of, you know, it's been a big buzz about it too, bro. Like, you know, you, I mean, the performances is, is so similar. Like, you know what I mean? You take her performance and they split it, you know, because they both got it live too. You know what I mean? So they they got oh, yeah. Beyonce's, and then and then they got this chick. Yeah, you know what I mean? And then they compare everything, like, you know, choreographed yeah, and the whole weak. backdrop setting, all that shit, bro. Wow. Yeah, that shit weak, bro. Hey, bro, that shit weak, my nigga. Yeah, take a bitch I, yeah, I feel like I mean, that too. Another, take somebody that else's performance, th that's, uh, that's weak right yeah. here. If you ain't shouting them out or if you ain't giving them some big ups in your shit, like, okay, yeah, this is the person who, you know, big up to them. That's where I kind of got it from, whatever. I, I can't honor that. Because mm -hmm. yeah. for the simple fact, like you was stating earlier, like this person is less known than you. So now when you come out with it, it's going to look like it was yours. Like you came yeah. out with it, you know, and that's yeah. kind of like, that That suck. That, that's not That's not hot, you know. I feel like she's big enough to be able to be like, you know, I'll put this next person on. I got that from them. They, you know, big yeah, shout out to, the, to Italy. And yeah, she should have shouted her out and shit, you feel me? Then niggas wouldn't be able to say nothing. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah, a fire blank period right there. That yeah, goes and, with the you know, and, and everything. And, yeah, and people started talking about you know what Michael Jackson did that with the with the moonwalk and shit like that. But you know, as y'all know, Mike Mike added it into his already. I mean, he took samples from you know uh, you know James Brown. He took from mm-hmm. him you know some some other shit from you know people around the way to you know the the moonwalking and shit like that. And then he incorporated his own shit to it. That I right. can, I can to where it was his own little thing to where they probably had to decipher like, well, this little part he got from them and this part he got from them, but right. it ain't like soon they see it, you know. So he like kind of manipulated it. That's kind of like you know with basketball, you would see somebody hoop and you would take their move, but you would do it a little different, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, yeah. so it's you know that that that's that's natural, you know. That's that's you know evolving basically, sure. you know. No doubt. <laughs> but when you just, now, I mean, you know it. Hey, YG, it's good to get your opinion about this shit because, you know what I'm saying, coming from you is definitely solid. And, uh, you know what yeah. I'm saying, before we let you go, bro, like, tell, tell the people, I mean, you know, you got another tour stop after Fresno or, you know, what you oh, got going shit. on? Oh, shit, we just doing, I'm just doing shows. I got some shit in L.A., you feel me, on Saturday at the prom, and then I think we're going to Arizona after that, like, and then all that shit, like, I mean, we just doing shows. So I'm coming to a city near you just to be on the lookout. Don't even strap. We're going to get this shit popping. <laughs> All right, if y'all want to fuck with YG, if y'all, if y'all got something that y'all want, you know, you out there in your city, state, whatever, you know what I mean, definitely holla at the peoples, you dig? So, you know, yeah, you can also, uh, yeah, hey, you can uh, hit up uh, YG at, uh, out on his Twitter, right? Give out your Twitter for yeah, the masses, hey, look, baby. Look, my Twitter, at DevJMYG, that's at D-E-F-J-A-M-Y-G. And my Facebook is facebook.com backslash devgmyg. How at your boy. I'm on Twitter, though, like all day, so just hit, hit a nigga up and shit. And I got my own cush, too. So if y'all listening, <laughs> and y'all, and I got my own cush, I'm going to need them digits. <laughs> <laughs> on everything, look. Look, but you only, like, you can only get it at the weed shop in Anaheim, so you got to go to California. Oh, you okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Hey, real talk. If y'all were, if y'all really want to book YG, go hit up, go hit up Team YG at gmail dot com. You know what I mean? Yes, you can definitely, definitely go ahead and get it, man. But I appreciate you Welcome. fucking with us, bro. And we mm-hmm. gonna we gonna run some of your shit off the mixtape, and we gonna definitely celebrate your music, man. Keep grinding, dude. Cause and get it in at the show, in. boy. You already know, my nigga. Yes, sir. Turn one, turn one up. Do your thing, boy. I appreciate it, man. Hey, stay, stay in contact with us, baby. We got you. All right, good looking, bro. All right, for sure. One love, one love. All right, for sure. That's the homie YG. Ground under music for the underground. We do it big. (laughs) Oh yeah, come on, baby. You know, you know what time it is. We gonna run that track. YG featuring Chris Brown right here on Ground Under. All right, all right. If I want it right then, I said, hell yeah. Started kissing on my head, I said, hell yeah. Then I told her, like, you know what, we can do it in my rover. You can get it from the side, like the pistol in my holster. She said she want it rough, so I beat it up and I choked her. Got that Dodge Ram dick. Bitch, I leave that pussy in it. That pussy probably end up there before I finish. Be all in my mouth like the dentist Then she started playing with my balls like tennis No ties, no two, no boo, but I give her the business I got her saying, that's my dick Like she had it rented Off like shit, you my bitch Now sit right here and ride my dick Daddy, do you want some? I said, hell yeah Do I want it in the chair? I said, hell yeah Do I want it?
that's your gift for me Rick James, super freak Grab your weights and now let me eat Pipe game, I'm a beast You can say that I'm MVP <laughs> MP3, same song, gon' repeat Suck your bottom lip, now climb on top of me I'm hard as a rock while I beat your butt like a piñata Said she love young money, so I let her taste my dollars <laughs> We fell asleep Woke me up and she said, Daddy, do you want some? I said, Hell yeah. Do I want it in the chair? I said, Hell yeah.